Hello everyone, it's Chrome Time here at Empire Chrome Shop. I'm the Chrome Man and this is Junior, who appears to be somewhere else. Hey! Hey! Uh, today we're going to talk about mud flap weights. Okay, mud flap weights instead. There are several different choices when it comes to mud flap weights. If you change out your mud flaps several times a year, these chrome ones are probably going to be your best bet. We got the one that mounts with the three carriage bolts here, and we also got the stud mount. Okay, if you want a weight that will stand up to the calcium and magnesium chloride that they put on the roads these days, stainless steel is the way to go. Now these stainless steel weights are made domestically here in the United States and you can have uh, custom graphics on a lot of them or you can have them personalized like this one and this one has chrome in it an Empire back here. This is the bolt through version it also has a galvanil back. You grab your mud flat weight, drill your holes, set the bolts through the holes. And then I get Junior to give me a hand with this right here. And you put the galvanil back. What the galvanil back does is it adds rigidity to the back of the weight. The stainless steel weights in general are not made as out of as thick material as the chrome ones. This piece of stainless steel here is made out of 11 gauge material. Standard thickness on a chrome one is 10 gauge, which is about twice as thick as the uh, 11 gauge material. As you can see, the stainless mud flap weight on the left is half as thick as the chrome mud flap weight on the right. So the backing plate has rigidity. We've sandwiched the mud flap in between it. We've also added uh, the red background. Now this is a, it's a plastic background. You can use vinyl so it helps uh, pull out whatever it is you're trying to highlight. These are also available in the stud mount, which is, gives you a nice clean look. So if you've ever walked through a truck stop and seen a mud flap weight that's kind of wavy, it's because it's one of these. The material is extremely thin and if you run over an alligator in the road, it'll have a tendency to bend it. You know, it's probably a bad idea to daydream this hard during the day. Weird things can happen to you. Hey, hey. Until next time, don't drive an ugly truck. Feel breezy in here.